Dogecoin and cryptocurrencies have pumped up so much. But what is next for them? Are they gonna go down now? Are we gonna start to see some red for a couple of days? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you what is gonna happen next for Dogecoin and cryptocurrencies. So make sure you watch the entire video. What's up, Miles? It's ladies and gentlemen here. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because I have many years of investment and trading experience and every day I make videos about Dogecoin and cryptocurrencies and we call out huge plays before they happen. If you want to get access to my profitable trade alerts for cryptocurrencies, join my Patreon, which is in my top pin comment or in my video subscription for only $10 a month where you can message me at any time. You can talk to me on the phone. We can build your portfolio and much more. I'm giving away 200 O's to one lucky winner this coming Saturday. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow my Instagram and Twitter and put Dogecoin giveaway in the comments. If you love Dogecoin and cryptocurrencies, smash up the like button. It helps us support the channel and the Dogecoin community. And let me know in the comments, do you think that we're going to start to see some red because we've had so many green days in a row. So let's take a look at coin market cap. Let's see where cryptos are headed what things are looking like. Dogecoin yesterday pumped almost 40%. I'll beat the entire crypto market, just like I was telling you guys for weeks. Everyone was wondering, why is Dogecoin not doing anything? Why? Oh, we're seeing Bitcoin, we're seeing Ethereum do this and that, and every other crypto is going up except Dogecoin. Why is this? And then yesterday, Dogecoin outperforms every crypto by at least 10%, 15%. So all of that, which Dogecoin wasn't able to do when the other cryptos were pumping, made up for it in a single day. Dogecoin has the tendency to do this over and over again, and history continues to repeat itself for Dogecoin. But we're starting to see a little bit of red in the crypto market. We're starting to see a little bit of pullback, which it is Sunday. Sundays are slow days. Um, you know, not a lot of volume today, which is not a big deal. Nothing to worry about. Ethereum pumped up 18 and 19 green days in a row. I've never seen that for Ethereum. Ethereum has never even seen that for itself. So the crypto market is still strong. Bitcoin, about 44,000. Ethereum still $3,000. Cardano, $1.45. XRP, about 80 cents. Dogecoin, about 25 cents. If we take a look at the chart, we are definitely starting to see some red from ethereum top to where we are at now we're about a four to five percent correction nothing big let's see where bitcoin is bitcoin actually has not really moved much red at all we're holding up very strong barely a correction for dogecoin we've seen a pretty big retracement because after every big pump there is a decent dump so we're seeing about a 10 percent correction because we almost pumped 40%, just about 40%. So nothing to worry about. We are going to be diving some more into some technical analysis. Let's see what's really happening with cryptos. But I have some very important information that you cannot miss. So a lot of you guys are wondering, okay, are we going to dip? What's going to happen to the crypto market? Now, let me tell you this. On the 11th of August, there's going to be the July inflation rating. The CPI, Consumer Price Index, reading will be at 8.30 a.m. Generally, before these events, there's fear in the stock market, there's fear in the financial markets, there's fear even for crypto markets. Even though inflation is actually good for crypto because it allows people a reason and gives people a reason to jump into cryptos versus holding their money in the fiat currency, this type of news, whether it's good or bad, actually can have a negative effect on crypto, even though it might actually be a good fundamental reason for crypto to go up. Uh, part of that is due because a lot of the financial institutions, a lot of the big money that's in the stock market, they're also in cryptocurrencies and they move money kind of the same way. They pull money out when they expect a potential dump. They cause fear in the markets. They want people to be fearful to drive the price down further. So it's just a bit of market manipulation, just like we saw a month ago for the same exact rating. It was very, very high inflation and definitely had a negative effect on the crypto market and the stock market for some days. So do you expect some negativity, some volatility, probably some downwards movement until that time and maybe even after. The reading that we could see is probably going to be much higher than expected. And if that ends up happening, we're definitely probably going to see a pullback in the crypto market. But we also might get a huge bounce in the crypto market. But as the history has shown us, especially since last month, it had a negative effect on the crypto market. So I think people are starting to get fearful for that. They're pulling their money out. That's why we're seeing low volume. That's why we're seeing cryptos in the red. Then we also have this tax bill, the infrastructure bill that's affecting cryptocurrencies. 
They're supposed to be voting on it here very soon. I think today or tomorrow. They're trying to finish it up. They were supposed to get it done yesterday, but there was some stalls. However, that's something we also got to be aware about. This infrastructure bill can affect cryptos in a very strong negative way, especially Ethereum, especially some of these proof of stake cryptocurrencies, which they're trying to attack. Some of these senators are trying to attack some of these proof of stake cryptocurrencies by defining them as a broker. But whether it gets passed in the Senate, it still has to get passed at the House and it's got to go through a bunch of hoops before it gets done. So it might not get done. It might, it might take some time. It might take, take some time, even if this is the worst case scenario, which is not going to be very likely. I think people are standing up and they want this thing to be in favor of cryptocurrencies, which I am truly expecting. So these are a couple of pieces of FUD that is in the media, that's in the minds of people, investors, that's probably gonna put a stall on the crypto market, at least for a short period of time. But fundamentally, it's nothing to be concerned about, none of these things. I honestly think especially the whole <clears throat> inflation is gonna give people a stronger reason and conviction to get into cryptocurrencies. So the higher the inflation, the better for cryptocurrencies. Look at this, the crypto fear and greed index, like I was telling you all, is finally in greed. We've first time seeing greed in a long time. Today we're at a 74, so the greed is definitely getting high, I told you all. Once this thing starts to get into greed, once we start to see green with the crypto fear and greed index, things will start pumping. And look, as soon as we got into greed, things were pumping. So the bull market is back. We've broken levels of resistance that we haven't seen in a very long time for Dogecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and many cryptos. This is for us a sign of technical traders and investors. Once we start to break higher levels of resistance that we haven't seen in months, that shows you that the crypto market is gaining strength, that it's getting back up to where it's gonna be, where it was, and it's gonna go much higher. When yet, whatever a crypto breaks a level of resistance that we haven't seen is basically like an alarm bell. Hey guys, we are going up higher. That's what that alarm sound is basically like. But I wanted to show you guys this. Look at this, Santiman. He said on Twitter that Bitcoin's revisit to 45,000 for the first time since mid-May is certainly something to celebrate. However, watch daily for address activity closely now as a subsequent rise back to 1 million per day levels will be the key signifying a bullish resumption. So what we are seeing is that the active addresses are going up and they're continuing to go up. But he says, if we pay attention to the active addresses for Bitcoin, if they start to skyrocket, that signals for us that things are about to go crazy like never before. Okay, so let's do some technical analysis. Let's see where we are headed. So Ethereum, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, they were overbought, which means they were way out of the RSI. They were at like 100 in the RSI. And we know that when things get out of the RSI, when they are overbought, they have to come down. So we are seeing a bit of a healthy correction, a healthy retracement in the crypto market. Nothing to be concerned about. Things are still looking incredibly bullish. We haven't made any lower lows. We've gone down about 5%. And we can continue our pump any second. But I'm expecting because of this FUD and this news that is in the market to see a small pullback for at least a bit of a time. And that's where we want to make our sniper entry. We don't want to make an entry right here unless you're long term. It really doesn't even matter if you buy you know, $200 less than Ethereum or $200 more. If you're long term minded, you know, two years, a year, three to five years, it's not going to make that much of a difference. So it doesn't really matter. But people who are a little bit short term minded, you want to have an entry for like six months, you know, three months it definitely does have an effect on the profitability. So generally, especially in the Patreon, we alert buy alerts once we hit a bottom and then we have a confirmed recovery. That's the best time you want to make an entry. So we're still waiting for that opportunity to make another entry into some of these cryptos. For Bitcoin, still looking extremely bullish, just a little bit of red that we do see sometimes in the morning. So nothing crazy. If we look at Dogecoin, more of a significant pullback because we have gone up so high so fast. So definitely nothing to be worried about. The Bitcoin dominance is starting to gain some traction again after a major crash in the Bitcoin dominance, which we know that when the Bitcoin dominance lowers, that's when the altcoins can really pump. But Bitcoin and Dogecoin definitely have been moving together a lot, especially more so than Ethereum. So when Bitcoin does pump, when Bitcoin holds its levels, that allows Dogecoin to pump, it allows Dogecoin to grow. And the very interesting thing is Dogecoin went up 40%, not based on any type of news, not based on any type of hype event, not based on any tweet from Elon Musk, which is very interesting. And it goes to prove that 
Dogecoin is not, you know, a crappy crypto. Dogecoin is not just a pump and dump. It's not just a hype coin. It has real value. It has, it has very strong intrinsic value, which will, which will allow it to be more stable in the future and which will allow it to grow along with the rest of the top cryptos. But I guarantee it, if Elon Musk were to have tweeted yesterday after we started pumping 30%, 35%, I'm sure we would have seen probably another 20, maybe 30, another 40%. That could have definitely happened. So I'm definitely anxious to see what Elon Musk is working behind the scenes because he hasn't tweeted about Dogecoin in a while. And we do know that he does take breaks from tweeting about Dogecoin and Bitcoin. We've seen him previously do it for like a couple of weeks and then he started tweeting again. It's because it gives him more power. It gives Dogecoin tweets more power through his Twitter account. Because if he tweets about Dogecoin every single day, it's not gonna have a very strong effect. But we do notice that when he does have a recess from about Doge, from Dogecoin and crypto memes and content, any tweets that the efficacy, the power of those tweets are much greater. So for this week, I'm definitely expecting a bit of a pullback, but I'm also, I'm also not going to be surprised if we continue to pump and to go up and up and up and up and up. If things can continue like this and we have a very bullish August, we can definitely get back into the 40 cent range by the end of this month. Ethereum can easily get back up to $4,000 this month. Uh, Bitcoin can definitely get up to the low 50s, mid 50s this month. And then we have the next month, which is supposed to be very bullish. So things are about to start taking off and we should probably see all time highs within 60 days. That's personally what I think. This is not financial advice, just my own opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. If you guys want a good platform to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, use my Webull link. If you sign up and deposit $100 using my link, that will send you two free stocks worth up to $4,000, which you can immediately sell or send to your bank account. If you guys got something out of the video, make sure you smash that like button, share this video with some of your friends and family, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day.